Hey there Clashers and welcome back. So we finally got the information for the winter update as well as a few Clash Miss events that are going on. So let's jump in and take a look. So the very first thing that was announced a few days ago were some balance changes for the December update. So first of all the monolith will be getting a slight nerf as will the uh, spell tower when it is set to poison mode. So we'll see a bit of a decrease on those on damages from those defenses. We're also going to get a little bit of a buff to the Poison Lizard. And overall, these things should make Town Hall 15 just a little bit easier. Now, I know the pros are not happy about these changes, but the casual players are going to be happy that things are going to get a little bit easier. So whether these are good or bad changes kind of depends on where you're at in Clash of Clans, whether you're playing professionally or as a casual player. I know most people are casual players. So overall, this should be a good change. However, I do have some ideas as to how Supercell could cater to both the pro players and the casual players, but I think that's a topic for another video. Now, continuing on with the changes that are coming, there's gonna be some balancing to the skeleton barrel, which I think is good because honestly, I think it's kind of useless as it is. I don't ever use it personally. And then a little bit of a change to underground units when they're moving above ground. I don't think this is really a big change at all because honestly, who is using miners in defensive clan castles? I'm sure somebody out there is, but there's better choices. And next we got our sneak peek earlier today and we're gonna go through everything that was announced in here. And then after this, we got a few extra things that weren't announced, but we know are coming from other creators. So let's go through this video and then we'll get to that other stuff at the end. So first of all, in this video, they announced the graveyard spell and a new district for Capitol Hall. I said in my last video, I really didn't expect anything new for Capitol Hall in this update, but I was wrong. We are getting the new district, the new spell, and we're getting customization for those little huts that they have. So we'll see that here in a little bit in this video, but the uh, graveyard spell is pretty cool. Whenever you have housing space that goes down, it spawns skeletons there, which is, uh, I think it's a neat little thing. It'll be interesting to see how that works out. And then here's the... A uh, new district that's called Skeleton Park down here at the bottom. That's where you're going to unlock the new spell. And you can see you get a few new defenses with that as well. So the new defenses are interesting. Uh, overall, some pretty neat stuff for the clan capital. So those are the two new defenses they're showing now. Let's skip ahead to the customization part. And also, they are adding the Inferno Baby Dragon to the uh, clan capital. So that's the another new troop there. And then here's the customization. Every member of the clan gets their own little house which is neat. They're also adding leagues. And I think, let's pause it really quick. I think the biggest takeaway from this, which I think is really interesting, is they're adding clan XP to uh, clan capital raids. That's gonna help people level up their clans a bit faster. And I think that's a really good addition to the clan capital, especially for lower level clans that are trying to build themselves up to that level 10 perk. This is going to help out quite a bit. Now, I don't know exactly how the clan XP is gonna work. I don't know if it's like, uh, because you can see here, it says uh, 50, 60, 70. This is for the lower leagues and it goes up. But I don't know if that's like for the whole raid weekend, if that's per district. Uh, they don't really say, they don't address the clan XP too much. So I'll have to wait and see how that ends up working out. But any extra clan XP for clans to level up is a good thing. And then here is the super miner that they announced. So our next super troop, it actually looks pretty cool. He has an awesome mustache. That's probably my favorite part so far. Uh, really interested to see more on how this troop's going to work. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. I was really hoping for the Super Hog Rider, but we got the Super Meyer and it looks pretty good. So interested to see how that's going to work. We got new levels for the single player campaign. So that'll be interesting to see how those look. Uh, a little bit of extra loot for people as well. It's a nice thing about those goblin maps. So we're going to see how interesting those are going to be. Here's a quality of life change. The Shovel of Obstacles now makes an obstacle permanently movable. I think that's a really good change. So once we get our uh, shovel of obstacle we don't have to use more to move that same object around that's a really good change and that's going to be everything that they announced in the video now a few extra things that they didn't announce in the sneak peeks or videos uh we are getting a seasonal troop called the ram rider i actually couldn't find the uh the images of the ram rider that are coming to clash of clans but the official supercell content creators do have that in their videos if you guys want to check out like Lex Nose, Carbon Finn, any of those guys, you can see what the Ram Rider looks like and you can actually see them using them in attack so you can see how they're going to work. Now again, that will be a temporary troop. You can also check out all those other videos because they have access to the uh, Super Miner. You can see how that works, uh, all that good stuff. And then one last thing that wasn't announced that's going to be coming are going to be Clash Miss events. Now, if you remember back earlier this year, Clash of Clans gave us the 10 year challenges. So it was like a series of different challenges. And then once you complete each one, you get a reward. They're doing something similar to that for Clashmas. So we're gonna have a series of challenges and then different rewards as we complete each one. 
So be on the lookout for that and be on the lookout for future videos. As soon as those start dropping, I'll start finding the best ways that I can beat them and then sharing that with you guys. So if you guys want to catch that, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you're not missing out on videos. But that's going to be it for today's video. Now, I'm not expecting any more sneak peeks and I kind of think that we are going to get this update on Monday. So just a couple of days from now. So definitely looking forward to that. But thank you guys for checking out this video and I will catch you all next time.